toast to the bride and groom. Certainly. Ladies and gentlemen, here's to the bride and groom. You said you didn't believe in omens. I don't. Most of the time. I guess this isn't one of those times. My lady, did you see that fireball in the sky? I did. Well, what does it mean? It is a message from the gods. Yes, even a fool knows that. But what does it mean? To decipher the true meaning of an omen will take time. What does Prince John pay you for? Tell me now, or I'll have one of his guards cut out your tongue. My lady. <clears throat> Fire has many meanings. It is said that Belenus, the Shining One, will send a cleansing fire to purify the world of wickedness. Ridiculous. There are also the eternal fires of the afterlife. <gasps> Those who have sinned will perish forever in their cold flame. Oh, the news. What else? An unsubstantiated old wives' tale, which says, "He who follows the flames will receive untold riches." Really? Now that is interesting. Barclay. Oh. Oh. Are you all right, my dear? Sorry, Cirrus. Barclay. Prince John has asked me to take care of a little matter for him. I have a job for you. My lady, your wish is... Command. Yes, yes, I know. I want you to find out where that fireball landed. Still thinking about that fireball? Do you believe we're the only people in the universe? It's one of those unanswerable questions. I... I don't know. What do you think? If God created man in his own image, and he's truly the God of the universe, why wouldn't there be others out there? Who knows? Maybe right now there are two people, just like us, looking up at our planet and asking the same question. Why not? Tuck says the stars are thousands of miles away. Imagine, thousands of miles. It's a rock, a big rock. Like any rock I've ever seen. It's a dragon. Its armor is made of diamonds.
centuries ago in England, it was an era of chivalry and magic. The evil Prince John unleashed an iron fist of tyranny upon the people. They called out for a champion. One man answered that call. His name was Robin Hood. Fearless in his quest for justice, Robin Hood challenged the power of the high-born lords while protecting the helpless and the poor. Willing to face death for what he believed, together with the beautiful lady warrior Marion, the mighty Little John, and the wise Friar Tuck, Robin Hood forged a legend that lives on today in The New Adventures of Robin Hood. Explain it to me again. Pretend this flatbread is the Earth. Now, the Earth is the center of the universe. Everything else revolves around it. The sun, the planets, the stars, everything. Now, this is the sun. I thought you said the sun was round. It is round. I said pretend. Okay. The sun travels around the edge of the Earth like that. When it's over here, we have the summer. And when it gets there, we have the winter. What about night and day? Okay, so it's a little more complicated. The sun actually dips below the edge of the Earth, like this. Up and down, up and down. Night and day, night and day, winter and summer. Hmm? Playing with your food again? A man's thirst for knowledge must be quenched, eh, little John? Oh, right. Can I try some of that? Careful. It's got a bit of a kick. I like it spicy. Sort of. You're going after that flying star, aren't you? I just had this feeling about it. I call it woman's intuition. Happy hunting. took all of our horses. The dragon ate our horses. They'll never know. Diamonds. And you say this fire-breathing dragon was covered in them? You useless toad. You imbecile. Are you telling me you looked a fire-breathing dragon in the eye and it ran off with my fo- Prince John's fortune on its hide. Get out. And don't come back until you catch that thing. And I want its suit of diamonds. Understand? No excuses. Oh, this is big. No excuses. Diamonds are a lady's best friend. <laughs> Twenty guineas to the first man who finds the dragon! <laughs>
guys. All right. Catch. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Your purse is curiously light, sir, for a lord that bleeds his tenants dry. Take it. And we will be on our way. The people thank you for your generosity. One last request. My lady, if you please. Take off your skirt. What? She's my wife. And a lovely wife indeed, Lord Bascombe. I'm sure she's worth every penny. Your skirt, madame. Or shall I do it for you? Well, well, well. Hey, Robin, it's gold. Robin, Marion's in trouble. Good day, my lord, my lady. Robin, little hundred foot dragon in Sherwood Forest that breathes fire out of his head. Prince John sent his soldiers to find the dragon, and Marion's out there alone. She just wanted to find the star, but it's not a star. It's the dragon's lair. Well, I, I hate to rob and run, but... Enchanted. Say? I said, don't touch that. It's dangerous. Now you tell me. I had some processing problems. Some what? It doesn't matter. Get me down from here, please. How do I know you won't harm me? I harm you. I was not the one who set this trap. I'll cut you down, but no tricks. I promise. Let me help you. Deal. You tricked me. I trick you back. Now we're even. <sighs> you will lead me to that mountain. Then I will set you free. Who 
is he? He's the dragon slayer. I hear he's killed more than a thousand dragons. How can I trust you? Let me go when we get to the mountains. You lied to me before. That was necessary. All I ask is for your assistance until I reach my goal. Why do you need my help? The weapon is more powerful than anything I've ever seen. This place is a mystery to me. We don't have those on my planet. Birds? They might be dangerous. <laughs> is it poisonous? It won't hurt you. It smells good. I thought the scent would give you pleasure. Why would you wish to give me pleasure? You men head that way. Over here. Something very unnatural happened to this rock. Only magic could have done this. Or a hundred foot dragon that shoots fire. We should know each other's names. I'm Marion. Marion. What's your name? Sam Grathnula Set. Really? I don't think I can say that. How about just Sam? Sam. That would be fine. You two, over here. Over here, you. I'm hungry and tired. We need to recharge. I will have to restrain you. You may sleep here. In the rain? Are you kidding? Water is the source of all life. I was born in the water. Really? Where was that? Some place far away. Give me your hands. Excuse me, sir. Are you the Dragon Slayer? Who wants to know? I'm Barkley. <clears throat> I understand uh, you're going to hunt the dragon in Sherwood Forest. What business is that of yours? Well, all dragons are the property of the crown. No dragon belongs to any man. Prince or no prince. But it's against the law to hunt animals in Sherwood Forest. And if I do, are you going to tell me, Mother? <laughs> Listen, you pathetic excuse for a human being. If I didn't have a dragon to kill, I'd hang around and give you grief. Lucky for you. I don't have time to play games. Let's have a bit of fun. Get off! 
<laughs> Let me do that. Move aside. Thank you, sir. Now, isn't that better? The fire is too hot for me. My home is always cool and wet. So, you're from up north? Up, yes, but not exactly north. Up. The Flying Star. Perhaps I owe you an explanation. Was your helmet? I thought it was your head. It's for protection. Protection against what? Dangerous life forms. Like me? You're really from another planet. Which one? Can't see it from here. It's millions of light years away. Light years? I'm a cartographer. I've been mapping this quadrant of the universe. I knew we weren't the only ones in the universe. <sighs> Whatever made you think you were? People here believe in the old gods. Not me. Science. That's the way of the future. Wait till Robin hears about this. Over here! What kind of creature makes tracks like that? Well, this hundred-foot dragon walks on two legs. It's very strange. Well, seems like a good place to make camp. What do you think? Robin? Huh? Right. Let's make camp. Why did you come here, Sam? To this planet? It was an accident. My ship was caught in a dust storm. I lost over half my fuel. Your planet has a high concentration of elements I need to run my system. I was headed for that mountain when I crashed. What is that? This 
monitors the substance which allows me to breathe your air. When my reactor systems are working, I can produce more. Does that mean without it, you'll die? I don't have much time. Then maybe we shouldn't stop to sleep. No. I need to replenish my fuel and energy. Hey, wait! You may leave, if you wish. Now, I must rest. The tracks were washed out. No, look. I think Marion is speaking to us in her own unique way. Come on. Yeah, I'm in the mood to catch me a dragon today. Very nice. I know I'm no handsome prince. I think you're beautiful. You too are beautiful. <sighs> now we must leave. We came this way. Yeah. Here, come on. See? They camped here. Bring the horses. Bring the horses. Come on. tracks, the dragon's tracks, and Prince John's might have been here. What do you think this is? They were heading southeast. If they keep going that way, it would be this way. No. This way. Kiliko Mountain. They say there's evil spirits in those caves that poison anyone who goes near them. There's a shortcut up the side. We'll get ahead and set a trap. <laughs> to fly among the stars. Every planet's different. Some are dry and covered in dust. Others are nothing but water. There is no land. No land at all? The life forms look a little like you, but more like the fish on your planet. Like a mermaid. The last place I visited, the ground was covered in red grass. <sighs> it sounds so interesting. It's very interesting, but it gets lonely. Get 
out of the way, weaklings. Let a man do the job. This should be big enough to stop any dragon. Not a dragon. He's a map maker. It's from the stars. Well, bless my soul. The first thing to remember when trying to catch a dragon, dragons always return to their eggs. You can set the arrow traps in those trees over there. And don't forget to connect them to the release. He is not a dragon. His name is Sam. Right, Sam. And he's from a star. Uh. You believe in magic you can't see, and you don't believe what's in front of your own face. How do you know he's from a star? How do you know he's not? I think you're under a spell. Sam has charmed you. They'll be telling tales about you and Sherwood for years to come. Sam, the dragon from the sky. <sighs> that, that ray of fire you used, uh, how did you do that? It isn't fire. It's amplified radiation of molecules over a precise wavelength. You aim by looking through the eyepiece and firing. Here. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a map. I drew it myself. I've almost covered the entire forest. Fascinating. The people of my planet would be very interested to see this keep it i have copies thank you this is it from here we'll have to climb Are you all right? Yes. It's my last one. It's only half full. I must do this alone. The element I need is harmful to you. See the dragon. Deal. Did you get it? I don't have much time. Let's go. We've got company. Take Sam back to his flying star. Ah! 
Oh, no. You can do it. It's a living beast. There are no controls. Put your foot in the stirrup and pull yourself up. I'll help you. those rocks. We made it. Just in time. <sighs> this is the end of the road, dragon! I am not a dragon. Use your fire on him. My laser. It's gone. Hurry and run. I'll be okay. Afterlife for you, dragon. I hope you 
be all right. You will be. You don't know that. You got back in time. Feeling. Better. Thank you for all your help. Any man in need can count on Robin Hood. Any man or any, uh... Dragon? <gasps> Dragon. This is for you, my friend. Open it when I am gone and show it to no one. I'll cherish it. Whenever I look up at the stars, I'll think of you. Having adventures, exploring new worlds. You would shed water for me? Water is life. just about to kill the dragon when a witch made it disappear. No, they'll never believe that. Bertie! Where are my... Prince John's diamonds? Well, you see, milady. Robin Hood. Never mention that name again in my presence. Do you understand? Never. Y yes, milady, I promise. <laughs> Robin Hood's man. <laughs> Get to see any of it. I could have taken you, would you have gone? Maybe. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. 